What's up guys, Jared here with you. And today I'm gonna to run through our four different platform attachment methods for the 2024 season. So to kick it off, we've got the tried and true zip cam strap. This is the strap that we've been using for the past several years. It comes with your Predator. It's super simple to use and it's rock solid on the tree. This option is gonna be the heaviest out of the bunch. And we're gonna go ahead and get a weight on that. And it comes in at 7.7 .7 ounces. Moving on, we've got our brand new roller cam strap. Now I really, really like this strap. It is rock solid on the tree. The buckle is a good bit smaller than the zip cam, and it's also much easier to release the buckle after you've applied weight onto the platform. And it comes in at 6.1 ounces, so a little bit lighter than the zip cam strap. And that is a brand new offering for 2024. Now next up is our dam rope, which stands for Dynalite Attachment Method. Now this is spliced am steel, very much like our Utila Bridge. So it has a Prusik on it with a tender. You can adjust it one-handed. It's gonna be about half the weight of the roller cam strap. And since there's no metal buckle, it's gonna be a lot quieter. And it comes in at 3.1 ounces. Next up is our VersaLink. Now this is personally my favorite way to attach a platform to a tree just because it is super lightweight. Now, this is basically an Amsteel daisy chain. So you run it around the tree, you pick the closest loop to your verse button, you stick it on there and you cam the platform over. It's super simple and it's extremely lightweight at 2.1 ounces. So if you wanna go super simple and use the zip cam that comes with your platform, or if you wanna go super lightweight and go with the verse link, we've got you covered with our four attachment methods for our platforms. So now we're gonna to head to the woods. I'm gonna show you how to use all of these attachment methods and you can decide which one is gonna work for you. No matter which attachment method you use, all of them are super simple to use, but I'm gonna run through each one individually so you can see exactly how it works. So I've got our standard zip cam strap here. It's got a sewn loop in the webbing. So that simply goes over the button like so. And then you're gonna run the buckle end around the tree. Now you can switch this from side to side. So if you like it coming off the left-hand side or the right, it doesn't matter. So we're gonna run the buckle around, place it over our button, and then initially tighten it so it holds the platform up. From there, we're gonna fold the platform up and take out any remaining slack. Simply push down on the platform and cam it over, just like that. Now you may find that when you get on the platform, the standoff will be off of the tree. That's very simple to fix. Make sure you're tethered into the tree securely. You're gonna put your one foot on the stomp pad. You're gonna stand up and then you're simply gonna fold the platform up. You're gonna feel it drop several inches. And then while you're standing, putting pressure on that stomp pad, you're gonna push back down on the platform and that is gonna bite in and it's gonna be rock solid. And the one thing you may notice with the zip cam strap is after you tow hook it, it puts a lot of pressure on this buckle and this may be a little bit hard to get loosened up. But as you can see, without too much trouble, it popped loose and then you can take it off of the platform and then to stow it, to put in your Predator pack or on your back, you simply wrap the strap around the platform and then you can take, loosen this up a little bit and then put that loop right on the corner tighten it up and you're good to go. All right, now we're gonna get into the upgraded straps for the 2024 season. And the first one is the roller cam. Now the roller cam is a little over an ounce lighter than the zip cam strap. And it's gonna be a lot easier to disengage when you take your platform off the tree. You can see it's a good bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. And it's gonna work just a little bit smoother than the standard zip cam. So let's throw this on the platform and see how it does. Now the thing that sets this apart from the zip cam strap is it's got this roller bearing in here that makes it super smooth to operate. So we're gonna use this one the same exact way. So we're gonna put our loop around the platform. Run it around the tree here. Pop that loop over the button. Fold it up and tighten it down. And from there, simply push this down and came the platform over. So as you can see, the top standoff isn't really coming off the tree, so toe hooking isn't totally necessary every single time, but typically I'm gonna go ahead and do it just to be safe. So that thing is absolutely rock solid. So I'm gonna show you how easy this roller cam is to operate. I'm gonna fold the platform up, and then simply with one finger, I can loosen that up, and it loosens up super smooth and super easy. 
and just wrap up your excess. Pop your loop onto the corner of the platform, tighten it down, and you're ready to go. So now we're gonna put the dam rope on the platform. I'm gonna show you the difference between the roller cam, the zip cam, and the dam rope. So I'm gonna show you how to install that. And it's a little bit different than just putting your loop around the post. So what we're gonna do is fold this loop over onto the main line. We're gonna pull that main line through and pull a loop into the rope just like that. And that is what's gonna go over our button. We're gonna tighten that down. We're gonna get it nice and secure in there on the button. And you can, again, go left or right. It's all personal preference. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and install it on the tree. All right, now that we got our dam rope installed on the Predator V, we're gonna go around the tree with the main line. We're gonna take that Prusik and simply hook it in to the button. Make sure it's nice and secure. Now this has got a tender on the Prusik so you can one hand adjust this. So it's the same deal. We're gonna tighten it initially. We're gonna fold the platform up, tighten it just a little bit more. And then while we're holding the main line with this hand, putting tension on that Prusik, we're gonna go ahead and push down and then cam it over. Now the difference between the dam rope or the zip cam and the roller cam is this is all spliced am steel. So when you initially set this and you get up on the platform, you're gonna have a good bit of space from your standoff to the tree. That's because all these splices have to get tightened and worked into the rope. So what I would suggest is to put the platform on the tree initially, then step up on it. Now, as you can see, it's pretty loose. So we're gonna put a little bit of pressure on it. And I would highly recommend doing this at ground level well before you decide to hunt with it. So we're gonna put some pressure on it and then we're gonna step off of it. We're gonna fold the platform back up. We're gonna break that Prusik knot and then we're gonna retighten that. So I'm gonna slide the platform up the tree a little bit since it moved on me. I'm gonna break that Prusik. I'm gonna tighten that up while I'm pulling on the main line. I'm gonna push the platform down and I'm gonna go ahead and cam it over. Now by doing that, I should have all the splices worked in. The rope should be settled into itself and it should be nice and tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and step up on it. Now, as you can see, the standoff's coming off of the tree just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and toe hook it. And then as I'm pushing down, I'm gonna go ahead and cam the platform back over. So now it's good and tight, your splices are all set in, and now every time you use this rope, it's gonna be super easy. When you take this thing off the tree, simply fold it up. You've got enough slack now that you could pop the Prusik off of the button. And now you can wrap it up. Now what I would suggest is after you make one or two wraps right here, go ahead and break your Prusik free by flipping that little loop in the Prusik. Get that nice and loose for your next hunt, that way you're not fiddling with it. So. I'm gonna put that about right in the middle of the platform and I'm gonna wrap it up. And then with the supplied bungee on the end of the rope, I'm simply gonna hook it over that loop and you're ready to go. So the reason I do that and I park that Prusik knot right there is when you go to put this on the tree, the Prusik knot is pretty much already set. So as you can see, all I gotta do is loosen it a little bit and then attach it, tighten it up. I'm doing this in real time so you can see it. There you go, that thing's set just like that. And last but certainly not least, we've got our lightest connection method with the VersaLink paired up with our CFX regular size. So I'm gonna show you how to use this real quick. Simply undo the supplied bungee ball. You're gonna take this loop right here. You're gonna girth hitch it around the platform. Just like our other options, you're gonna pull a loop into the VersaLink like that cinch it tight on the platform just like this. To use the VersaLink, it's as simple as running this around the tree, picking the closest loop to the button. I like to go a little bit shorter of the button, that way you can fold the platform up. And you want this to be a little bit tight, so if you kick this off the side of the tree, you're gonna get that around the button like so. Then you're simply gonna get it back onto the tree cam it over just like that and it's gonna be rock solid. Now on a small tree like this, I like to actually run the VersaLink around the tree 
at least two times because this is a very small tree. So you could run it two or three depending on how small it is. This one's a little bit too big to get it three times. So we're just gonna go two and same deal. We're gonna pick the closest loop, pop it on there, push it down and cam it over. And now with that around the tree twice, it is gonna be absolutely rock solid. Take the VersaLink off the platform, simply fold it up, pick it up a little bit, pop your loop off. Take this off the tree and you fold your platform up, simply wrap the VersaLink around your platform and you're gonna use your bungee, pop over the edge like that and you are good to go. So that's our four attachment methods for the 2024 season, the zip cam, the roller cam, the dam rope, and the VersaLink.